We will be looking at MasterCard business and some of the numbers, and then see too if the stock is worth owning in current market. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. MasterCard closed at $382.39, with the increase of 0.63% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is bullish. Technical indication is in uptrend. And overall daily trend for the stock is in very positive trend. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in very positive trend. Today's market fear in greed index is 64, which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. MasterCard gave 3.66% returns in the last week, 11.26% in the last 30 days, and three months returns are 22.80%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future? 5-day average is 377 with a bullish indication. 10-day is 376 with a bullish indication. 20-day average is 365, which is a bullish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In June 22, the revenue was $54.97 million. In the recent quarter, September 22, it increased to $57.56 million. Now let's see the profitability of MasterCard. In the quarter June 22, the profits were $22.75 million. And in the recent quarter, September 22, the profits increased to $24.99 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 1.9, then it increased to 2.08, then in third quarter, it again went up to 2.35. In the recent quarter, the debt score declined to 2.28. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for the stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.